everyone and this is Miss Ganks here and today I am going to teach the basics on how to build slime fun machines. Oh yeah I'm in my little villager farm but I cannot figure out how to breed them so maybe somebody can help me with that later on. But um no let's get to it. Uh, so this is basically what kind of room you would need. Uh, I did a 27 by 5 with a 2 by 5 little area to put like chests and stuff. Um, granted you can put however much uh, space you need. Um, the first machine that is automatically unlocked is the enhanced crafting table. Now a multi-block, which a lot of people who do not read it, even I was confused about it the first time, but um, a multi-block means to build it in the world, like so. So I'm just going to go... So right here is a space and then I'm going to go and whoop. so it shows a dispenser under a crafting table, right? Oh, voila, and that's an enhanced crafting table. Now a way you could check to make sure you did it right, what is, um, have nothing in the dispenser and just press on the crafting table. It will say that, that little message there. Um, next machine. Granted, I will be buying a lot of the machines, tools and stuff off the shop for the server, but that's okay. So the next machine is also a multi-block machine and it's a grindstone. Now, I don't know if the facing up means you have to face it up or not because I've seen people who don't really face them up but I like to because that's what it says. So you just have a dispenser facing up with an oak fence which I could just grab that. So I'm going to skip a space here and go up one. I'm going to go over here where I have my handy crafting table which I need to make my crafting, portable, portable crafting book. Granted, I will show you everyone how to make the items in Slime Fun, but for now, I am just gonna do the basics. So, yeah, some, some more machines require like oak fences, nether, ri nether brick, um, Stuff like that. I'm just gonna make a few of these. Um, so you will see why I have this side stone and this side um, wood. It's because some require fire and I figured why not just put the fiery, the fiery stuff on the stone side along with furnaces and stuff like that. I have not made the furnaces yet um, on my own. Tedious process. Um, so here's some of the stuff you can make with the grindstone. Uh, dirt gives you stone chunks. Wheat gives you wheat flour. Cobblestone gives you gravel, which I should have done like a long time ago. Ender eye gives you ender lump ones, stuff like that. You you will see it whenever you make it. Okay, so next machine is the armor forge. So dispenser facing up with an anvil on top. Yes, I am a bit laggy, but that's because I'm running Twitch also. Because I want to make sure that it's working correctly and that if somebody like decides to message me and I can't see it, and on my Minecraft, I could just look over and see it here. 
Uh, no. Wait. Uh, one second. I have a um, bookmark on how to craft things, so let me just figure out how to craft the anvil. Oh wait, what am I doing? It's been a while since I've crafted an anvil. Okay, yeah, I had it right the first time. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so dispenser facing up with an anvil on top makes you the armor forge, which I will show you later on what that makes you. Um, okay, ore crusher. Like I said, stuff requires nether brick fence, nether brick, nether rack, anything nether related, you will need. Um, if you want to go join the server that I am playing on, um, you will pretty much be able to buy the stuff you need and slash shop, which I am going to do after I, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a portable crafter. Okay, so with slime fun you can unlock um different things like i already have all of these unlocked but you need levels to unlock them hence why i did not make this video before but yeah so or crusher um so to make a portable crafter it's a crafting table slash shop. I'll go ahead and buy what I need anyways. Um, decorations, decorations too. Another brick fence. Black mist and a book. Okay, so portable crafter. Um, I didn't look at a recipe because I never get this right. So um, whenever you put it in the wrong way it will say that but if if it's like two items you could just flip flop them and it should work see okay so um let me go over here so dispenser facing up next to two iron bars well sandwiched between two iron bars and another brick fence so what i'm gonna do is make the iron bars here let me clear out my inventory a little bit that should work so it is a dispenser facing up there's another brick fence there now for this one I am gonna skip two so that ooh, ooh. um yes I am a rank so I'm able to have a player vault but because of space I'm not using all of the items that I normally have in my inventory. Um, so yeah, that's um, the ore crusher. Like I said, dispenser facing up, another brick fence sandwiched in with iron bars. And this will make all of your dust and uranium stuff. Which I could probably stand to make some sand. Okay, compressor. So, for, yeah, I am trying to make it to where I don't have to spend so much time teaching 
how to make it because a lot of people on this server are new to slime fun completely. So I'm trying to teach everyone who doesn't know anything about slime fun how to use it. So two pistons along with, I'm just going to get like 16 of these things. I don't want to keep coming in here for, no, I'll get five. Okay, so also let me get two of those, one of those, and one of those. Oh, I can stand to get some more pistons too. <laughs> I should have gotten the materials earlier, but oh well. Okay, so let's get two of Okay, so it's gonna be two pistons, dispenser facing up, and another brick fence. So skip these two and go up one. And piston. Wait, is this a smell tree? No. Smell tree doesn't call for that. Okay, so piston, piston, another brick fence. And there's your next machine. Um, so basically, I'm going to put signs later on. Um, it helps if you label them so you know which is which and yeah so here comes I'm gonna skip the smell tree for now and go on to the pressure chamber so this one calls for a cauldron uh, two stone slabs four pistons a piece of glass and a dispenser facing down. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to skip two, go up here, face that down, bring this up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to break this part. Okay, so there's that. Then break, if you did stone slabs, that is, break that piece. I like to do stone slabs because any slabs because it makes the roof to where I could put chests all the way up and the more chests the better for in my opinion okay so cover this back up and then I want to go over to my chest feel free to comment and Tell me what you want me to do, um, whether it's teach a specific item, uh, material, anything. Uh, just leave it in the comment section of either YouTube or Twitch. Um, sorry, I'm still not used to streaming since I have quit streaming for a while and I just got back into Minecraft so yeah and I know the video that I submitted earlier um didn't have any sound on my end 
but um, hopefully later on uh, I will get OBS to work so I could uh, face FaceTime while I'm playing any of the games because yeah that would be cool so anyways um, skip that area right here go over one right there and then save that area wait no my bad my bad um oh, it's not a book okay so save this area for the bookshelf which I will grab in a minute uh, put this crafting table and a dispenser facing you okay so slash shop again now I can't really buy bookshelves but I can buy books so I'm just gonna buy three two three go to my portable crafter which you can unlock under um, portable utilities also I will be teaching the different utilities I guess well not utilities but like all of the stuff so yeah this is what you use to make the magical stuff like um, pickaxes which I do not have on me and if I did I would just rip everything I just made all over again um, yeah so let's just hope I have enough room to put this I may I, you may need to expand uh, or washer that's probably why I probably didn't count the ore washer um, let's see here I could put the juicer and the ore washer I could put the juicer here or washer here and then everything else on this side so that's what I'm gonna do um you can expand it uh, to fit however you want I just have it this way because yeah I just miscounted if y'all will let me say that I don't know uh, So yeah, let's go, whoop, <sighs> okay, there's that, so I hate the shadowy part, so I'm just gonna put a slab there, cause yeah, I'm awesome like that, not really, um, Okay, so what else did I say? I could put... So I got the ore washer. Sawmill is up next with the smeltery. Uh, juicer. Essentials for every kind of juice you want. Pretty much. Um, so dispenser facing up. Nether brick fence. And glass 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 so yeah I need more dispensers because I miscounted on that too um where is okay yeah redstone um, let's just get five. So there's the juicer. Pretty, huh? It looks like a lollipop. Or lipstick. No, I guess from a side, if you tilt your head, it looks like a dumbbell. Just one side's lighter than the other, I guess. Um, so, yeah, um, I guess we could start naming the side. No, not yet. Um, also, I like, especially if you're doing it inside a cave or something, I like the jungle doors because you could just, I mean, the Arcania doors, 
because you could just look outside and see if there's any mobs. Um, okay, let's start off with, I guess, the smell tree. Yeah, let's go with the smell tree. So, you need another brick fence, dispenser facing up, and two nether bricks, along with flint and steel. And this is, like, essential for anything that you need, pretty much. Okay, skip one. Now, this, I want to put a slab but you will see in a minute what I mean. So one, two, three, and one, two, three. So yeah, um, just light that up. Uh, actually, do I have it on me? I do. So. Um, the reason why I say stone slabs is because you don't want to keep breaking the block, any of the blocks around it, because if you're like me and you have a specific pickaxe, you will blow shit up, uh, crap up. Excuse my language. Sorry. Force of habit. Um, so... The stone slab, or, yeah, I use stone slab, cobblestone slab, um, stone brick slab. It's because some servers have mob griefing, fire spread, and TNT turned on. Now, I don't think fire spread is on on this server, but I don't quite know for sure. I'm sure I could ask Rainbow and he'll tell me, but I'll ask him later. Um. So the reason why the stone slab, it's because the smell tree, after a certain amount of uses, it will just extinguish the fire underneath. So just light it up, whenever it goes out like so, you just go like that and you got a infinite fire source. And yeah, that's why I like the wood on this side and the stone on this side. Um, okay, what next? Okay, here comes my favorite machine out of all of them. So I'm going to demonstrate on this piece of oak wood. Okay, so you need three oak wood uh, logs, one crafting table, and two iron bars. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Womp, womp. Womp, womp, make my crafting table. Okay, so this is what it should look like. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate on this one why you have the third. So, for the sawmill, normally, whenever you put, like, regular crafting, okay, I'm just going to make another stack. You get four. Okay, so third six. Okay, so I have three stacks of wood. Well, four stacks of oak wood planks. Now I'm just going to move that out of my inventory. So, you got an oak wood log right there, like so. And then you're just going to punch, no, click on that. And you get out eight. So it just doubles the amount of wood that you get. So I'm just going to keep that one there. Um, Next machine. Right. So we made the, we made that, 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 Okay, so I'm not going to get into the enhanced furnaces, all the furnaces just yet. Um, I'm actually going to show you a good way of making something else. But first, let me make the composter and the crucible. So, as you can see, there's a difference between 
a multi block and this so whenever you see this that means you're gonna put all of this recipe into the item that shows right here now in multi block you just put the recipe in the world and an enhanced crafting table you're gonna put okay so I'm just gonna demonstrate since I do need this so I'm gonna go to the enhanced crafting table and I'm just gonna yeah click here oh wait I forgot to make it um yeah Got to make my cauldron. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the enhanced crafting table. Put the cauldron, the cauldron right there. The oak wood slabs right there. And I'm gonna click on it. No, no, no. Click on it. And voila! I got a composter. Now, if you want to go place it in the world, um, like it shows right here and you go to let's say put in or uh, click it with some stone it's just gonna put the stone right here pretty much and it doesn't give you anything in return trust me I've tried it a billion times because I keep forgetting it's not a multi-block item now the crucible it calls for hardened clay and flint and steel so I'm gonna go over to, oh wait. And it's enhanced crafting table. So slash shop. Buy. Now I'm gonna go to building blocks. Just buy six of those. Cause that's the only thing you need them for. All right, so I'm just gonna go because I don't wanna go find some flint just gonna buy another one of those because I forget if it gives you it back so like sorry and like sorry just click it and voila now this is pretty much gonna be a, let's say you want to get into sensible toolbox which is an add-on of slime fun um, well, you would pretty much want a crucible so you can make a magmatic engine to start off with. Um, so yeah, these, here's all the machines you have starting from enhanced crafting table and ending with crucible. Um, and here comes the very fun part. Making the enhanced furnace. Number one. So I'm going to just leave it with the first half. And whenever I actually make the furnaces for myself, I will come back to this room and make the furnaces again and then as soon as we get all the way to carbonado edged furnace starting from down there to down here we will go into tier two which is where i want to ex probably put upstairs I'm gonna make like a little area upstairs I think maybe um but yeah and then I'm gonna also show how to make which really I understand why somebody wouldn't get the slime fun but there's also sensible toolbox and that's your other stuff um, I will teach you, teach everyone how to use some of the items that are, I guess they're all useful, but I don't know how to use all of the items. 
But I know how to use the masher. I know how to use the um, solar panel, stuff like that. But I do know how to power them, which is the main concern for everyone. Um, how about I show, bef to wrap this all up, the very first weapon is a grandma and grandpa, grandma's and grandpa's walking stick. Um, I will do, I guess, grandpa's. Ugh. Okay, so... To make it, you would need three oak wood logs, two leather, and you would have to put it in an enhanced crafting table. Not the magical workbench, not the grindstone, none of those. Just your very first machine. Sorry, I'm just going to go buy some leather because I don't have any on me. Uh, I think it's under materials. Yeah, one, two. And I've been meaning to make one anyways. Uh, one, two, one, two, three. Here goes nothing. So yeah, uh, if you want to see how it goes, one second. I will call my favorite wizard, my favorite admin, and my favorite friend, Rainbow. So this area is claimed, so I'm just going to come over here. Alright, so what he's wearing is slime boots, and I will show y'all how to make that too. Alright, here goes nothing. And this is Rainbow, everyone. Hello and goodbye. Wait, what? It's not more... Okay. I guess it's a little laggy, but yeah, he, here. There we go, people. And that's the grandpa's walking stick. And yeah. Um, give claps to Rainbow, everyone. My favorite wizard. Um, yeah, that pretty much settles today's, um, stream. And please feel free to see the last stream I did. Um, yeah, I'll explain more of that if you want in the next video. So, yeah, see you later. Bye!